Hey y'all, this is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be talking about my newest collection of wax melts on my Etsy shop. This is my Happiest Place collection inspired by Walt Disney World. But before we get into that, question of the day, what is your favorite fall scent? I'm trying to curate my fall collection and I would love to know what is that scent that you just love having in the air in the fall? I would love to know, so leave that in the comments down below and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I'm gonna try and keep this brief. I've actually already filmed this once and I went to edit it and at minute six of edited video, minute six, I still had not begun discussing my sense. So I'm gonna try and keep this brief. I have my kind of script right here. I'm gonna try not to go off on as many tangents. I talked way too much. I was all over the place, so take two. So for those of you who don't know, I actually have a small business where I make and sell wax melts. I started back in March. So wax melts are actually little scented pieces of wax that you put in a wax warmer. You can have wax warmers that are plug-ins, they can be corded, or you can have a tea light warmer. And then the warmer will melt the wax and put this lovely scent in the air. So it's similar to a candle, but you don't technically need an open flame um, unless you have one of the tea light warmers, which is what I showed at the beginning of this video. Some people like wax melts a little bit better than candles because you don't have to have an open flame. So if you have kids or if you live on your own, if you live in an apartment and you're worried about burning down the place because you're a little forgetful. These are great. Although I have to say, make sure that if you do have kids, this is still hot wax. Um, and also some of this stuff looks very appealing to even me, <laughs> um, but definitely children. So if you do have kids, make sure that they know this is wax, not food. I do have videos up introducing my shop, kind of going into the background, talking about it a little bit more, my inspiration, why I wanted to have my own small business, um, as well as introducing my scents and talking all about the scents that I already have on my shop. So I will link the playlist up in the cards above if you wanna go check that out. All right, so my newest collection is called the Happiest Place Collection, and this is inspired by all things Walt Disney World. I'll skip over the part where I tell you for the billionth time that I love Disney. Let's go straight to the scents. So with these scents, I wanted to have at least one scent per park, and then the other ones were just whatever I wanted. So I have at least one for Epcot, one for Hollywood Studios, one for Animal Kingdom, one for Magic Kingdom. So the first scent is called Animal Kingdom. This one is based on the park of the same name. It along with Magic Kingdom are my two favorite parks. I absolutely love them. So for the icon, I of course had to go with an elephant and for the colors, I decided to go with the color palette of Animal Kingdom, which is a like moss green and a reddish brown. For the scent, this is a lovely outdoorsy scent with top notes of eucalyptus, middle notes of lilac and violet, and bottom notes of vanilla, sandalwood, musk, and amber. So if you really like a like natural outdoorsy scent, this one is definitely for you. All right, so next up we are moving over to Magic Kingdom for Cindy's Castle. This is of course inspired by Cinderella Castle in Magic Kingdom with a castle as the icon. For the colors, I decided to go with the different blues that are in Cinderella's dress. So we have this light like cerulean blue as well as a dark blue. And for the scent, we have a lovely fruity floral scent with top notes of green apple and peach, middle notes of dew rose and water lily, and then bottom notes of cedar, sandalwood, vetiver, and musk. Up next are the dome cakes. I'm actually really proud of these. These are inspired by the zebra domes that can be found at Animal Kingdom Lodge. I decided to use my baking know-how and actually shape these to look like the real thing down to the mousse inside. For the scent, the actual zebra dome is similar to a tiramisu with Kahlua. So I made a custom blend of hot buttered rum and cafe mocha with top notes of hot buttered rum, tangerine zest, and fresh brewed coffee, middle notes of brown sugar, bourbon vanilla, butter, chocolate, syrup and heavy cream and then bottom notes of vanilla toffee and marshmallows 
Next up is Little Spark, whose name is inspired by the song One Little Spark, and whose look and scent is inspired by the cute purple dragon Figment, both featured in the Epcot ride Journey into Imagination. The icon is the pink and purple dragon wings, and the actual snap bars are also pink and purple. For the scent, we have a very fun and unique spicy floral scent with top notes of orange rind, middle notes of geranium, rose, lily, and star anise, and then bottom notes of musk, clove, and patchouli. So this is a really unique kind of surprising scent. Uh, it's a lovely spicy floral scent that I think if you are adventurous with your scents, I think you're gonna enjoy. Our next scent is called Pineapple Whip. This is inspired by the iconic Disney snack, the Dole Whip. The icon is of course a pineapple and for the colors, I decided to go with orange and yellow. For the scent, this is a lovely syrupy pineapple scent with top notes of citrus and pineapple, middle notes of cotton candy, and bottom notes of musk. Now moving over to Hollywood Studios for the next two scents. First up we have Some Imagination, huh? Which is inspired by the nighttime show Fantasmic, which is my favorite show. It's one of two favorite shows, the other one being Festival of the Lion King. Since this show includes fireworks, I decided to make that the icon of the scent, and the colors are red and blue to match the colors of Sorcerer Mickey. For this one, we have a citrus bubbly scent with top notes of lime and orange, middle notes of effervescence, which is basically like that fizz bubbly scent, and then bottom notes of cherry and berries. And this one, by the way, is my favorite scent in appearance as well as in scent. I absolutely love it. Next up, we have Tower Hotel, which is inspired by the Tower of Terror over at Hollywood Studios. I decided to use the bellhop hat as the icon and the full bellhop costume was used as inspiration for the colors of burgundy, yellow, and black. For the scent, I did another custom blend with top notes of fig, citrus, bergamot, apple, cassis, and musk, middle notes of cedarwood, clove, tobacco leaves, lavender, jasmine, lily, and water floral, and then bottom notes of sandalwood, leather, black amber, patchouli, oak moss, and vetiver. Now for our last scent, we are going back over to Magic Kingdom with Walking Down Main Street, inspired by the smell of popcorn in the air as you are walking down Main Street. This one is shaped like popcorn, so make sure you remember it is wax, not food. And for the scent, we have top notes of salt, middle notes of roasted corn, and bottom notes of butter. All right, so those are my eight scents in my newest Happiest Place collection. For each of these scents, you can get it in the form of either the snap bar or you can get it in the form of dew drops. So dew drops are actually really cool. So that is what I call them. Some people call them pellets. Some people call them pebbles. So if you get the dew drops, it comes in this little reusable tin. You can just peel the stickers off and reuse this as you please. And inside, we have these cute little pebbles. They are the same color as the snap bar and of course the same scent as with the snap bars. For instance, this is the pineapple whip and it looks like that. Super cute. So the snap bars are $6, the same as all the other snap bars on my shop. And then because you get the reusable tin, the dew drops are $7. All right, so mark your calendars. These go live on Monday, August 1st at midnight. If you are interested in getting updates or keeping up with my shop and with my whole experience, et cetera, et cetera, uh, you can definitely follow me over on Instagram as well as on TikTok. Those are, you know, different accounts to what I have for my beauty channel. Um, and I am Sunshine Sense. I'm Sunshine Sense over on TikTok. I think I am Sunshine.Sense over on Instagram, but I will leave a link to both of those down in the description box as well as a link to my shop. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Also, give this a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And don't forget to answer the question of the day, what is your favorite fall scent, down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.